Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. Welcome to the series, Star McDougallers in Their Own Words. I'd like you to meet Ann Wheat. She's been a friend of mine for over 25 years. And she, along with her husband, Larry, have set up the most famous vegetarian restaurant in the world, Millennium in San Francisco. Now let me introduce you to Ann. My health was really bad from the time I was a young, very young child, probably an infant, I'm not sure when it started, until I was about 42. Um, what had happened is I initially it was uh, constipation and it was so bad that when I was eight years old my grandmother who was a nurse took me to Mayo Clinic to try and figure out what was wrong. They did a battery of tests and basically told her at the end we cannot find anything wrong with her take her to a psychiatrist. Along with the constipation, um, I had also had a lot of ear infections, throat infections, upper respiratory pro uh, problems. When I had started my periods, I started to have horrible cramps, so bad that I'd pass out. I passed out twice when I was in high school. Uh, after I had my daughter, um, I started getting the bloating in the stomach. Uh, and I blowed up like I was almost nine months pregnant, and then the horrible cramping and diarrhea. When I was 42, I did meet a doctor, a proctologist, um, that suggested I might be allergic to dairy, get dairy out of my life. Changed my whole life um, for the better. Regular doctors were putting me on medication. I'd have side effects from the medications, and then to have to take another medication to take care of the problem from the first medication. And it was just um, outrageous. And I thought, basically, I'm healthy. Why do I have this? I want to find an MD who's interested in preventive medicine. And that's how I found Dr. John McDougall. Thank goodness. And of course, he verified that dairy was not necessary for any human being in any point in their life, that I was not the only one that many people had this problem. He recommended a vegan diet as well. And so I followed it and my cholesterol went down, um, my skin improved, and of course my digestive tract was even better than it was from just getting the dairy out. Now I was a vegan. And so it was uh, a big jump for me uh, to wellness. And I'm feeling great. Um, my husband turned vegan the same time. He was impressed with what John had to say. He was training for the marathon in Hawaii at the time and felt it helped him. Meanwhile, we um, have gotten involved in a vegetarian restaurant, a gourmet vegan restaurant. So our life has evolved from my health problems to getting better to being involved in something that helps promote uh, a vegan diet, which I feel is has been very important in both my husband's and my life and I like to share the message with others. I think there's something better in life than having to depend on pills and having to spend your time at the doctor's office and going to the pharmacy to get more pills. It's worth it to me to eat this way. I enjoy the food and I enjoy my health and being able to enjoy my grandchildren and great grandchildren. I have 13 grandchildren now, John, and eight great grandchildren. And I want to enjoy these kids, and I can, because I can bend down, get on the floor, I can ski with them, and I can do all these fun things with them. You know, I enjoy my food. There is so much variety. Um, when you go to the marketplace and, and, say, stand in the fresh produce section or go to the farmer's market, the array of colors and shapes and sizes and the smell of these wonderful fresh produce, um, and then the grains and the beans. I shop at a store where I can get the stuff in bulk, which makes it easy. I get as much as I want. And the variety is there. It's amazing. I am a health professional. I'm a physical therapist by training. So probably the combination of my being in the health field and having had 42 years of ill health and suddenly getting my health um, has made me want to share the message with others and help them. I don't like to see people suffer. That was what's what you do in physical therapy. You help improve their life. And that's been important to me in this message of um, the diet and uh, how important it is. You know, when I look at others um, my age, uh, 
I see them with a fistful of pills, many of them, not everybody, but a good percentage of them are with pills. And maybe they've had to have a number of hip or knee surgeries or gallbladder or, you know, they're on pills for diabetes, uh, heart disease, cancer. And I had to watch my mom die of cancer and my mother-in-law die of cancer. My sister had breast cancer. Um, I, it's been too close to me, the illnesses that come, and uh, they seem to show up as you get older. And so I'm really seeing it now, my being 74 and um, being around other people my age. I see a lot of illness. The age has not been a problem except for a few wrinkles we get, which just naturally comes to everybody. But I feel I am in top condition. I'm pleased to be able to enjoy life. I've got a lot of living to do yet ahead of me, and I want to enjoy it, and this is the way to do it. Anne's story was very interesting, but unfortunately not uncommon. I used to be a general practitioner. I used to take care of kids, and I want to tell you, constipation, severe stomach pains, this kind of suffering is typical. And you know, there's even been a study published about this in the New England Journal of Medicine. They studied children with severe constipation. To get into the study, you had a bowel movement every three to 15 days, and that was with the use of a laxative. They took these severely constipated kids and they took them off all dairy products. The constipation disappeared in 70% of the kids. Then a few months later, they added the milk back, and guess what? All the kids got constipated again. Now, this is a terrible thing not just for physical pain, but emotional pain and worry. Can you imagine how these children feel and their parents with this kind of suffering going on? You know, unfortunately, as I say, most of them think it's normal because it happens with everybody in the family. This is not normal. This is a serious problem, a reflection of malnutrition throughout the entire body. And there's lots of intestinal problems kids get. They get gastroesophageal reflux disease. They get uh, diarrhea. They have lactose intolerance. Uh, colitis, and it's the food. And dairy is the number one culprit. You want to improve your family's health? That's the first place you change, is get the dairy foods out, the milk, the cheese, the yogurt. And you'll see tremendous benefits in your family's health. Now, there's other things that Ann suffered from, too. She had uh, sinusitis, postnatal drip, most commonly dairy products. And she also had precocious puberty and heavy menstrual cramps. These are things that are happening in our society. Our little boys and girls are maturing three, four, five years before they should. This is causing chaos in families and our whole society. It's the food. The food needs to change. So anyway, Anne learned from a doctor not to include dairy. Tremendous improvement in her health. I helped her. Even more improvement in her health. Now she's over 70 years old. She's got all these grandkids and great grandkids and she's playing with them. She's having fun with them. That's the way it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to have a disability sticker and be able to stuck in a chair when you have all these beautiful grandchildren running around. You're supposed to be playing with them. And you can be, and you should be. You're thinking, well, you should have told me this 5, 10, 20 years ago. No, it's not late. It's not too late. You can, you can do this now. Even if you're in trouble, even if you're overweight, if you've got arthritis, even if things aren't going so well, make this change. This is a huge change for which you get huge results. Now, and a beautiful message for you. She also has a beautiful restaurant in San Francisco called Millennium. And maybe next time you're in San Francisco, you'll stop by and visit Ann and say hello. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. John McDougall.